Hello there. In this video, we'll have a quick look at how population growth impacts the environment. Now, we know that population is the num number of individual organisms of a particular species in a given area. And the study of human population is called as demography. Now, the population growth or you can say the population change is based on three variables. These are the birth rate, the death rate. And when we talk about the population change on a local level, it includes the migration rate as well. So after the industrial revolution in the 1800s, food supply was abundant. The food supply increased due to better technologies, due to better transportation. There were lesser famines that were happening. So the death rate had also decreased and the population growth was very, very high. Though over the years, though after that, with the help of awareness, birth rate has decreased. That has happened. But the death rate has fallen faster due to progress in the medical field. It has led to extreme reduction in the death rate. The global lifespan, in fact, has, you know, it was around 64.6 years in the 1990s. But in 2019, when they checked, it is 72.6 years. That is the average global lifespan. So due to this difference, due to this imbalance between the birth rate and the death rate and a lot of migration to certain parts of the world, certain areas in the world always have had a high population ratio or they have always had overpopulation that particular part even in a country if you see even in a country like india some states are overpopulated some towns some cities are overpopulated in comparison to the other cities that is where the factor of migration sets in but when we look at the world population when we look at the global population the two factors which affect the population growth are the birth rate and like the death with rate. any other component in life excess is bad in the same way even overpopulation does have its detrimental effects. The first impact of overpopulation is seen on the natural resources. When the population keeps on increasing, it causes or it exerts extreme pressure on the natural resources which are already limited. Now, there's also a theory that explains this or that gives a correlation between the population growth and the natural resources. That theory is called as the Malthusian theory of population. This theory is you know, proposes that the population will always grow exponentially. However, the food supply, which is one of the resources, will grow arithmetically. So to maintain a balance between the food supply and the population, we need to have certain preventive checks in place. Otherwise, the what the theory says is that the human population will keep growing and keep growing. It will grow more and more rapidly until the food supply runs out. That is when there is a famine or when there is a war or some disease breaks out only then the population size will be reduced so this theory malthusian theory of population is very important for us to understand how to how we can control how we can have a positive check on the population the second problem is that when there is a pressure on the natural resources we obviously start hurting or harming the environment it first causes deforestation. Now, deforestation is required for agriculture. Deforestation is required for housing all the extra people. It is required in future for all the industries to be set up because we need, we need more things now. So, deforestation again has its own set of problems. You can look at my video on deforestation to know more about this. We... Because we have cut down the forests, it leads to land degradation and eventually even pollution. Not only land pollution, but even other natural resources get polluted. Air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution. So, land degradation and pollution together lead to climate change, which is what is happening in the world right now. It also causes high waste generation. So, when there are so many people in the world, definitely they are going to generate waste on a regular basis, daily, there's a lot of waste being generated. In fact, waste generation and waste handling is one of the biggest global problems today. So a high amount of waste is generated, which we do not know how to dispose of. That is again one more challenge that is there related to overpopulation. Finally, there's a lot of social distress. Social distress refers to the poor sanitary facilities that are provided because the number of people are so high in some parts of the world that they do not even have drinking water facilities. There is the freshwater resource is limited. So lack of drinking water is there. There is no sanitary facility that is provided to them. Even if it is provided, it is unclean. It is in a very poor condition, very unhygienic condition. 
there's a lot of poverty that is there among people in some parts of the world because the population is very high the resources are, are limited they do not get enough jobs so there is poverty there is un, very high unemployment rate there can be you know that leads to hunger because they do not have a job to feed themselves and their family it leads to hunger it leads to a high crime rate in many parts of the world we have seen this high crime rate high conflicts often occur in states or countries which have a very high density of population so overpopulation often leads to social distress as well these are some of the ill effects of overpopulation and the control measure the only control measure that we can have like how malthusian theory has you know told us is to strictly ensure that there are positive checks on the population positive checks on the growth of human population so we need to have some kind of checks in place otherwise nature will do the checking nature will have other checks like i i told earlier as per the malthusian theory it, it, it includes war or you know there will be a disease breaking out or there will be famine these are the checks that the nature is setting in instead of that we need to men, make sure that the education is provided awareness is provided regarding family planning there are you know the employment rate is increased so that people know people are more aware about how the uh, overpopulation causes a lot of distress on their family we need to make sure that we strictly follow the marriage age in many parts of the world young children are married off who do not know about you know this population growth or who do not have an idea about it so we need to make sure that there is basically a lot of awareness regarding family planning and regarding or or giving some sort of incentives to control the population i hope this video was useful to all of you and i hope to see you all in the next one as well thank you